Welcome back everybody, Kai Swans here with another episode of Football Manager 2017 with Carmarvin Town and well I'm sure you've noticed in the lack of recent uploads I haven't played this game in quite some time, it's been a week or or maybe even two now um, since I last, I last played the save and I went up to this game, uh, saved it and left um, because I had so much work to do and other stuff in my life uh, that I just couldn't, didn't find the time to play it so I'm back now but I've done all my transfers and everything uh, and now I'm going to go back and try and explain to myself why I did them. Uh, I may look back at some of them and regret them. However, we shall we shall go do that now. Here, I've just brought myself on my on my screen. Uh, my reputation's pretty good right now. Two and a half star. Uh, there's plenty of clubs at that level. Um, I'm thinking maybe even championship. Let's have a quick look, actually. What is the championship like? Uh, no, not European football championship. I'm, I want English championship. Is not called the championship. Let's let's find the Premier League. Premier. Premier League, English Premier Division, okay, and the one below, it is the Championship. Okay, let's have a random Championship squad, Blackburn. Okay, free start, so I'm nearly Championship level. Let's go for for maybe a couple of uh, of the smaller reputation clubs in the Championship. MK Dons, no, okay, they're all free star. Um, I, I guess the moral of the story is I'm not quite sh Championship level yet. League One, uh, Chesterfield. The first club I clicked on, yeah. So I'm currently League One level, possibly Championship in terms of my my personal managerial attributes. Oh, this is going slow. There we go. Um, and the club is far below. Club's only one star. It's it's not it's not improving so well. And you can actually see uh, two of the players I signed there. So what I will do is I'll head over to the transfers and show you them quickly. We've spent a fair bit of money this window. This might be the biggest spend we've done yep yeah it is so first season let's have a quick look at the past oh johnny spill how many of these are still at the club kane owen's still here quite amazing the left back we've got him for free and he's still at the club he's now on your second choice um josh green is he still at the club nope he got released this season i thought he did 99 appearance he was one off making 100 poor guy uh jack perry the goalkeeper never quite made it for us uh johnny spill has been really good for us 98 wow he's made one less appearance than josh green that's quite amazing but he's still with us uh which is saying something he's i, I really like that guy so it's amazing two of the players from that list are still in the squad at the moment uh, we go forward this season and this is where the big guy joined Bishop Wisdom, been absolutely amazing for us, hips off the ball and acceleration has torn teams apart, I think the rest have all left at this point, nope, Tom Pearson is still here, so there's two players are currently, where's he? Ah, oh, Abbott Tom Pearson and Wisdom still at the club, uh, and then the next season a couple of these players are still here, this is when we started signing pretty decent players, and then the big window, last window, is this last window loads of free transfers? Yep, this is this is where we turned professional, uh, and we got loads of coaches in essentially um, and then this season no oh, I'm getting confused oh that was the end of last season and the start um, the end of the season before last and the start of last season is all here um, a fair few really good players involved Jordan Jones from the ex Swansea guy I believe good midfielder there's some really good players um, and then this week uh, this transfer window we spent we spent big lots of transfers involving actual money Liam Angel being the biggest 120,000 for the 22 year old Welsh Welsh centre back slash left back he's pretty good looking I, I do like the look of him um, it's slightly worrying that we're signing a player from Newport um, and he's immediately one of our best players and I think he was a reject there but he looked pretty good very very well rounded I like my well rounded players his crossing is the only thing I'm looking at and maybe determination those two I'm thinking they're a bit of a worry if I do want to play him out of the left but he's certainly good enough for the centre of the park strong good positioning um, decently fast decent um, actual attributes, yeah, I, I quite like the look of him. If we have a look at the reports, he's immediately the best centre back ahead of another transfer, which I will show you so shortly. Um, so Liam Angel was the biggest transfer. Then Paul Dingwall, I think I'd already confirmed these before. The right winger um, looks absolutely incredible. I really like the look of this guy. Really fast, good at crossing, good technique, a good bit of flair. Not determined or strong, maybe a slight weaknesses there, and certainly not got the best off the ball or composure. So. Um, not looking for many goals from him, finishing five, uh, but certainly hope he can chip in with assists from the right right midfield position that he will he will immediately become first choice in. Others, uh, Topa already confirmed the left winger, um, fairly young, 20 years old. He looks pretty good for the future, pretty good right now actually. Hopefully we can work on his work rate, <laughs> um, and he's he's slightly better rounded um, than. Dingwell is in my opinion, Phil Wright up front incredible striker in my opinion, look at that he's just an improvement on Bishop Wisdom um, let's compare with uh, Bishop Wisdom here, here you can see he's 
he's sort of an improvement, doesn't quite have the vision or the defending, so, so the, the more defensive side of the game, not quite the same, doesn't quite have the decision making, but yeah, I really like this guy, uh, Phil Wright, he, he should be starting most games for us I reckon, and Liam Bowen, the midfielder, probably in the reserves, yeah he is in the reserves, I'm, try I'm trying to remember all this from the past, he's got some amazing attributes, but he does need to work on others big time, like strength, work rate, um, etc, etc. Yeah, so I've, I'm currently training him as a box to box midfielder or ball winning, something like that. Central midfielder, yeah. Get those defensive attributes built up. Now for three pretty big chances, um, for two pretty big, pretty big free chances, I think they're both from TNS. Uh, this guy, I don't know, this guy's from Walsall actually, uh, in his career, yeah. Started at Walsall, the youth. He actually made one appearance in League One, so it's pretty good getting League One style players in. Um, it's sort of the aim, maybe a bit higher. Uh, but yeah, this guy this guy looks pretty good. He's gonna, probably going to be a starting midfielder, a bit more creative, just ahead of um, I can't remember, uh, just ahead of Jordan Jones. No, not ahead of Jordan Jones. Ahead of what's the other guy called? Comparison, uh, Curtis March. That's it. He, he's sort of an all-round improvement on Curtis March. Here you can see it here, uh, and I quite like the look of him. Um, the Afghan with 31 appearances for Afghanistan is really good uh, and still only 23 years old he's got a good career ahead of him physically incredible hard working and can actually play football good technique yeah I'm, I'm quite excited by this guy he has he has everything in his and in, in his belt so yeah I'm quite pleased and on only 900 a week is pretty good and Pilias we got him on a um, free transfer he was released by TNS he's actually an Arsenal uh, former Arsenal uh, youth player, whatever it's called. So yeah, he, this guy looks good. Greek, uh, no, Cypri Cypriot. Um, I feel like I've talked about him before, but maybe not. Um, Pilias, the Cypriotic defender, really fast and strong, six foot four. I'm quite pleased by this guy. Not quite got the mentals yet. Um, hopefully, hopefully they will improve as time goes on and on a fairly cheap wages which is good most of our players are not on that high wages if we quickly have a look um jack simpson still the highest play player at the club and then a couple of new transfers on roughly 1k um back him up uh, jack simpson obviously got a new contract because he's really impressed me i like him a lot all those last five games leave something to be desired i have picked the team for today's game already but the more i'm thinking about it as you can see Topler does not like being dropped back into a wide midfielder he's not enjoying it at the moment um, but what I have thought, since I've done uh, not many episodes recently, I thought I'd punish you further. No, I'm joking. Um, but I, this is the first leg. I'm kind of... Um, I'll, I'll skip the home game and go straight to the away game uh, and see you for that in, in a week's time, I've decided. Wow, our preseason looks bad. Um, we played another couple of cups, got a bit of money in the bank um, from TV. Let's have a quick look. Um, last uh, This season, TV money, we got a bid in like 20,000, 50,000 altogether, quite nice to get a bit of money in uh, and play some tough sides. But yeah, uh, this is a team for this game, but I guess it's a bit pointless showing it, but this is probably the best side that we've got at the moment, um, if we quickly do it here. I can't really see much improvement as I look down the squad. Goldie, maybe a bit better than Hallebrown, but I like the fact Hallebrown's Welsh. Uh, any other? Pilias, having only just joined, was not registered, unfortunately. Um, but apart from that, yeah, it's, it's basically the strongest side I can put out at the moment. Um, Phil Wright and Lemony are probably my two best strikers. Lemony is a far better all-round player. Um, he's got better t passing technique, etc, etc. So he's good as a deep line forward with Phil Wright as the advanced forward. But yeah, I'll see you in a week's time instead of this game. Uh, yeah, see you in a second. And I'm back now. I've played the first game. It was a 2-0 win. However, it really shouldn't have been. Here we go. I'll quickly show. 5,300 in the stadium. Pretty good. Let's see if we can see the, um, the stats. Here we go. This is one I wanted to show you. They were completely dominant. It doesn't look that dominant here, actually, now that I think about it. But they missed a penalty. Yeah, here we see. Um, Berg Pedersen got a penalty, and he missed it. Thankfully for us. Yeah, we, we really shouldn't be 2-0 up, uh, and plus the fact they don't have any away games is really good for us. I, I'm picking exactly the same team uh, as previously, uh, yeah, identical, and the bench is the same. Goalie is just not fit enough to come in, I haven't had a chance to register Pilias, um and the rest, I just feel, don't offer the same thing as the current bench. Um, I was half tempted to take Topper off and put a more defensive minded option in Charlie Edge or Josh Knight in, but Topper is better in big matches than them, so I'd rather keep him on. Uh, same with Dingwell. Dingwell is decent work rate wise, and if we have a quick look at the report, 
he doesn't have an issue with big matches which is a problem with a lot of the of the squad that we do have and if we sort of flick through you can see consistency but no big match issue Liam Angel again no issue with big matches and yeah that, that's sort of been a big problem in the past for for our team here this guy Dylan Reese doesn't really like big matches I haven't really looked at him because Hamish Morrison I can't imagine is much better consistency hmm I, I don't think I'd rather put Hamish Morrison in ahead of Dylan Rees. Uh, I'm looking at them and I, I think Dylan Rees is a fair bit better, yeah. He's just he's just too much better to not put him in. Um it it doesn't make up that he doesn't like big matches for for the added the mental stability and sort of experience. Calm head hopefully in the works. Uh Koya again, no problem with big matches, uh as is Jordan Jones. Oh no, Jordan Jones is a bit of an issue. Who else do we have? Um, Rob Evans, let's, let's quickly look at Rob Evans. Yeah, he doesn't like it either. <laughs> it's a problem with when you got the, the not so good players, they're, they're not so good because they don't enjoy the big matches. Lemony, oh, he also, I didn't realise he didn't like big matches. Uh, and Phil Wright, who could we put in instead of Lemony? Oh, their fitness just isn't good enough. No, so exactly the same team as before. Um, a couple of positions where I might be might have been half tempted. Phil Wright actually got both for goals in the first game. I did I did underestimate them though. They are a lot better than I imagined. And unfortunately we have had the next draw. I say unfortunately, um because if we have a quick look at it now, um uh champions third qualifying ways. Uh, we're probably gonna get here Dynamo from Croatia who look bloody good. Uh Dennis Fernandez, their best player, uh the twenty year old Costa Rican striker, however I'm more worried about if we look here. They got a guy on loan here, Esquel Fernandez, sixteen to twenty finishing, at least seven well, seventeen and sixteen pace and acceleration. This guy is gonna be absolutely hell to deal with. And our position for today, despite needing what, three goals they need, have played an extremely defensive lineup. If I swear he played full back last game. Um Coley up front. Oh yeah, yeah, he can play right back and striker. Um, yeah, they got Coley and Jesperson. I wasn't too fussed by Jesperson in the last game. I felt he was kind of the reason they, they didn't put away the umpteen chances they got. But hopefully the fact they've played so defensively, although they've still got incredible players. This guy, Landu Landu, looks really good. Hard working and physically amazing. Um, will be hard to pass in midfield. It's quite amazing that we got those two goals we did last time against them. Bamba on the right. Uh, Enric Valles on the left. Again, I'm, I'm, although he's far more creative than than a normal fullback. Uh, Lenham, uh, they've got face strike, fast centre back. Here, this guy, Sullen. Yeah, I do vaguely. I didn't go through their team last time. I really should have, um, because I didn't play it, obviously. But I went through it myself, and yeah, I'm, I'm quite worried about about their team. And hopefully, we can, hopefully, we can hold out and not concede too many goals. Essentially, that's that's kind of the end game here. If we don't concede three, we're fine. First attacker game is going our well. Oh no, why did I speak? Coley has had a beautiful ball hooped forward to him and Hannah Brown with yet more terrible goalkeeping. This might be why I didn't play the game for a couple of weeks. So there we see it. a lovely ball just hoofed over the top of the defence. They're going to play like that. That's how we like to play. Coley, oh my. Hannah Brown has knocked the ball into his own net. Absolutely ridiculous goal to concede. Just hoof it forward and we had the ball for crying out loud, I thought it was going to be our attack and a random tackle hit forward and Coley scores, a, a nice goal by him but actually no it wasn't, it was completely off target, Haller Brown knocked it into his own net because keepers in this game are so stupid but Lemony is through here, Lemony shoots, Lemony scores! Oh, as I was complaining about the game, Lemony has brought back that feeling of joy that this game does bring uh, and we've scored a goal Jones and it's hit forward right. Warm go goes in past right. Ball's left loose for Lemony, who sort of toe pokes it past the keeper. Um, for once, keeper couldn't really have done much better than it was a nice strike. And yeah, let's hope the keeper does something like ours did a few minutes ago and gives us. Oh, see that's the sort of thing. Why don't you give them own goals then, Simonson? You could have knocked that new old net. He hits it forward. Jesperson passes it forward to Cody. Cody has options, well not that many to be honest, although now they have, the midfield reinforcements have arrived, Valles on this left, the Spaniard into Coley, Coley headers it, for God's sake, no, it, yeah that is football because the keeper didn't put it in his own net, let me see, they're all on, no, oh, there's only two of them in the other cards, Valles back to Jesperson, crosses it, cross, it's a lovely cross, fair play, uh, and Coley does get there, that was quite a nice goal, and we'll give them that, um, I'm still fed up about the first goal in this game, and that was quite annoying. 
Uh, we're about five minutes, ten minutes into the second half, and I brought on Bishop Wisdom for Phil Wright. It was on a 6.2, really not good enough. Uh, I expect better. And Bass Davis may come off, but Dingwell with a corner. Bass Davis, see, that was his chance then. Had he scored, um, he would have stayed on. But I'm, I'm feeling very inclined to take him off at the moment. Simpson, oh no, 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 no. Oh, thank goodness, Collie misses. He's had an amazing game for them, the full max slash striker. And I think Simpson will come off in a second. Well, not Simpson, um, Bass Davis, sorry. Oh, uh, no! Oh, for... Mm, that is, that is ridiculous. Absolutely no way. Two own goals in one game. I'm not counting the first one as a goal because it was completely wide. Okay, to be fair, that's not as bad as previous one. Oh! Keepers in this bloody game are beyond me. It ah, oh, this is so annoying. I've brought Tommy Lane on for Sass Davis. Let's hope we can hold out because as it's currently standing, we are going through. Uh, I d I don't want to go defensive. Not with this game. The w the way keepers are is just horrendous. Oh, we can't even get a throw in now, and they're going to score. Carly on this right flank. He's obviously a good crosser. Jasperson, Reese, head is clear. Topler. Um, oh, thank goodness, the highlights over. Please, I don't want any more highlights. It's giving me a heart attack. Dylan Reese to Dingwall, into Jones, keeping the ball a bit, out to Topa. Topa has options across to Dingwall. Dingwall, you lovely ball to Lemony. Lemony, can he feed it into wi wisd Wisdom? Wisdom, yes! Wisdom, 3-2 in the game, 3-4 now, and we got away goals to help us out. Um, wow, the, oh, the keepers in this game are just so annoying. I'm going to keep complaining forever until they fix it. It is, it is... Oof, it sends your heart, it gives you heart palpitations watching goalkeepers. Uh, the defence are currently not looking too pleased. Um, Dylan Reese, I might take him off now. Uh, he's not at the best of the game. And we do have Hamish Morrison. Offers, of, uh, offers us a bit more pace on the, in that back line. What does he like? He likes defensive full back. No surprise there. Um, they just they can't think what position to get, what role a full back like. They just say defensive full back. Ooh, Jones has lovely interception there. Lemony out to Wisdom. Wisdom back to Lemony. Those two up front have done a, have done a lot of work for us. They have helped us out. Lemony uh, covered up for Hallebron. Uh, he should have like a two. Although it's not his fault. It's former manager's fault. Dingwall. Simmons, why can't their keepers get in on goals? That's just annoying. That's like essentially exactly what happened for the first goal. The only difference is that our keeper decided to palm it in his own net. That was a terrible wall forward. No. 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 We've got less than ten minutes left. Please, no, Valvez. Cop. Oh no. It's a hat trick for Coggy. Although the first goal, really, it's it's not his. It's the keeper's. It was missing. Sorry, I'll stop complaining. Valvez, Coggy, headers. The keeper's a bit late to it, but I'm I'm not going to complain about that one. No, two ridiculous goalkeeping mistakes, and we might be out. Oh yes, yes, Lane. Go ahead, just keep the ball. Just keep the ball, guys. Don't let them touch it. Don't let them. T no, no. It's full time ref. Full time. Yes! And we're through. Away goals were needed, but we are through to the next round. That's it for the first leg. A 4 4 um, aggregate with away goals helping us through. Uh, to play Dynamo, GNK Dynamo next. They hammered uh, North Irish team Crusader. Uh, are they Northern Irish? Yeah, they are. A few. That would have been scary. Northern Irish team 6 1. 6 1 on aggregate. I'm very scared about playing them, but hopefully. Hopefully, we can get something. Um, I doubt it. Um, it would probably be us out, and I think it's too early. I would have liked to have got an easier team and got one stage further, um, but I doubt that's going to happen. Oh no, we do. We do get that European playoff against one of the best teams in Europe. For example, Man City, whoever comes fourth in the Prem, that sort of team. So yeah, I'm, I'm not too ex not at fourth in the Prem. What am I talking about? Oh, it's somebody, somebody good, essentially. Um, so yeah, I'm not too excited about. <laughs> this. Uh, I was kind of hoping we'd get an easier game, but unfortunately it doesn't look likely. Which season was it? It was two seasons ago. Yeah, here we go. We got, who did we get? Here we got Quarberg, which was an incredibly easy tie, if you consider it. The Az Azerbaijan team um, didn't have many players in, because I don't even have the, the leagues as listed as important leagues or anything, so it helped us out, um, and we got past them, but unfortunately I doubt it'll happen again. But yeah, I will see you for that game. I did make one transfer uh, during this episode. Uh, I'll show you it quickly. He's gone that straight back out on loan, but Warren Gregory, 18-year-old keeper, I, d I don't know why I signed him. I signed him for extra depth and then immediately sent him out on loan, so that makes absolutely no sense, I do agree. Um, but we have him at the squad now. Um, he got put in under 19 study. Yeah, I'll move him to the reserves just so I can 
I can see my my low knees fella very cues too I, li I like putting all the low knees in the reserve squad uh, but yeah that's it for this episode uh, the team is looking pretty good um, some really good players involved now uh, in all positions so yeah I'm pretty pleased uh, and I'll see you in the next episode and Dynamo thank you for watching hope you enjoyed and goodbye